Good afternoon and welcome then into Ellis Park, the Emirates A-Line Park. Round 17 of the DSTV Premiership continues over this weekend, the final weekend of uh, Premier League football before the Christmas break and uh, the break for the African Cup of Nations tournament finals. As far as uh, these two teams are concerned, well, they met just two weeks ago in Swani at the Lucas Masterpieces Moripe Stadium. It was uh, Sekukuni United who did a smash and grab there with uh, Chidiso Pachi grabbing the only goal of that match. And Sekukuni United were at, at that stage second on the table. Will they have a chance to go back to second on the table with a three goal margin victory today? Tayon says the referee, and just for a moment they said a bit of naivety and hesitation in the Sekakuni United defence, and Gabuza comes off the upright and wide. Well, I think Chavalala committed himself to a challenge, and uh, Sekakuni United players all stopped and waited for the whistle to come. It never did. Play to the whistle, it's basic stuff. You're absolutely right, Kevin. Play to the whistle. Loazi's question to me was that when they looked at the team sheet, they thought, ah, this is the team that we can beat. This is a bit better from Sakakuni United. There's space in front of goal. It's an awkward ball to deal with off Mashumba by Bole Papule. And both players did well. Now Gabuza's away here. Still Gabuza, unselfish. Matotti can't convert. Lean over backwards as he hit it. And much, much better opportunity for him. Unfortunately, not able to get much power behind it was uh, Rosa Borcha. It was the latter, Rosa Borcha. Great opportunity for the 20 year old Super Sport United junior. Stayed forward from the set piece and now a touch for Pachi. Sort of situation where the goal came, and if it hadn't been for that intervention, there might have been one. Twice cleared off the line of Kumalo, both Phillips and Johannes doing business in front of Pune and Pachi with a delightful ball with his first touch. Oh, Gabuza playing supply to Waiswa. Supporting there as well from Razebocho at the best moment of the match just before half time and uh, side footed the ball goalwards instead of using laces. It's a good start. Oh, sp special effort from Razebocha. Much better than the one at the end of the first half. It's tricky when you let that ball bounce in your own area, and if you don't clear it high enough, you're likely to get punished. Unlucky. Ooh, a deflection could cause problems for Toaster. In Sabaja, and very nearly does. Nice effort from Weber. He's always a threat, isn't he? And Banania, pick up on it. It is uh, Machlang who's going to come on. I'm just looking to see who's going to come on for. Mm. That's what you do sometimes when you can't make in those, those lane rings. It actually came off his teammate. Phillips taking his time. Clearance comes from Mube. Second ball though to McQuenna once again. Space and time! He's capable. We have a collage of those goals that he has scored that includes the Olympics. Got himself into a good area. You can tell that he was ready. Weber. Maziko, it's over. Sekakuni United might have had a snatch and grab at Lucas Masterpieces Maripe Stadiums. Despite all the pressure coming in the final moments, neither Sekakuni United nor Super Sports United could come up with a goal that would give them the three points today. Nil nil at half time leads to nil nil at uh, full time. A point apiece then for Sekakuni United and the Super Sports United here in Johannesburg.
You know, my, my goalkeeper in our back four today got what they deserved, I thought, a clean sheet. Um, you know, it, it wasn't without battling and working hard for it because, the, you know, their two front players put us under tremendous pressure with a long ball and we had to, del- we had to deal with it. I thought our cover defence and those long balls were very good, um, so we were, we were made to work all the way with it. Um, you know, it, it was a game that came down to one or two half chances and I felt that we, we should have been a little bit more clinical with those half chances because they didn't give us a hell of a lot, certainly in, the, in, in that final third for us as well but I said, to the, I said to the guys just show me good attitude today that's all we can ask for and they did more than just show that they, they turned up they battled it's difficult when you've got a thin squad and you're asking players to play 90 minutes and battle away for that 90 minutes and I can't ask for more from the, guy, from the guys today than they gave it's really interesting because in this situation that you guys find yourselves in you have to really sort of scrape the bottom of the barrel, in, in, as it were, to find positives. But when mm. you've got young players that come into the mm. situation against a, a, a side that really took it up a notch in the yeah. intensity in the taken off, you get some, some golden moments, some golden performances mm. from young players. Keegan yeah. Johannes, one of them. Yeah, well, Keegan's been a fantastic acquisition to the team um, and he's been proving it game after game. And that's why I said he played a big role in, in, in us getting what we got out of this game tonight. You know, I thought Silaelo in midfield with, 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 with Jamie was, was solid, um, you know, and, and that for me always sets the tone in terms of how we battle in midfield. I thought Tenda had a, had, had a solid uh, debut as well today. Obviously, as the game goes, the legs got a little bit tired. Um, so we were looking for, for numbers to come off the bench and, you know, they were able to fill in those gaps for us. But I, I thought overall today we were value um, for the, the point that we got and with a little bit of luck maybe sneak it at the end. A couple more days before you end the year's program uh, do we yeah. or should we expect to see a couple of the senior players back uh, ahead of that uh, uh, clash at Cape Town City? Yeah we'll consult our medical team um, and we'll get a, a full report on, on, on how they're doing and, and who's coming back and who we can plan to start integrating into the squad um, in terms of preparation. It was very important for us today to get uh, to get game time for, for Tebojo. Um, I thought he slotted in well um, and, and hopefully can take that into our next game so um, you know it's, it's, it's pretty much a about planning for that next one. Thriller, end to end, stuff. Uh, they came out, we came out. I think both teams needed this win, and both teams worked out defensively because it was box to box. Uh, but we could have done better. Decision making on the final third. I'm not happy with that. We could have won the game, especially in the second half. We piled a lot of. Uh, pressure on them, we made changes, our changes worked because in the first half uh, we, we, we had more of uh, inverted wingers and now we went out, uh, out and out right wide. Uh, we came back strong, came back with two big men up, uh, up front. I think if it's not today, it's not today. Uh, you you speak of that second half, the changes you made. Uh, Nube comes in, Baiki comes in, uh, makes you know they make an immediate impact. That that decision making though, is it a, just a case of individuals not taking the responsibility? Yeah, it's a case of every day. Uh, we had games where they were like this. I think uh, they, we are not calm inside the box. It's, uh, on the final third, we are not calm. We dominate. We eliminate full pads. We do whatever, overload the box, but I, th- I think we are not calm. But uh, I'm happy with uh, the leadership up, up there, especially Charlton Mashumba. He's, he's now fit, he's coming out, and he led us well up there. But uh, yeah, f- uh, for my boys, uh, I'm not disappointed. We gave it, we gave our all. Uh, it was not our day, but they could have also uh, snatched it up. Especially why you saw on the last one, thanks to Justice, he's brave. And I think, uh, yeah, it was not our day. Our day. If I let you go, Coach, you speak of justice. He lost his fellow soldier in Edwin Jima at the back. As far as that particular injury is concerned, I know that you still have to get an update. But going into that Chipper United game where you could end the year very well, you know, in a position that you didn't, maybe a lot of people didn't give you credit for. But him missing, or the potential of him missing, what does that do to the side? <laughs> we have depth. Silom uh, is there. Simpson Bonani seasonal campaign has got 211 games in the PSL. Uh, 
that is why when he came in, you, you couldn't see the difference. And he's more calmer than all of them. He's more clever. I can read the situation. Uh, we have changed the team several times without anyone noticing it. So we have depth and we have a healthy competition amongst the boys. Uh, if one goes out, the, the one who comes in must make sure that the other one doesn't come back. Uh, we have uh, Simpson Bonani, Silom Tsipi. Uh, the young Matuna, he played well in other games. No, we have depth, we have depth. From goalkeeping up there, we have depth. Uh, no one uh, thought that Chaltin was going to play. And maybe he's the second man of the match after Keegan. Uh, we have depth, we have good boys. Uh, we, we can put a, another level now. now. Uh, I trust my defence. When coming to, to them, they work as a unit. Even if we can change two or three, they'll still come and uh, try their best. Dealing with Kabuza, uh, Waiswa, Kampamba Lungu, you talk three good internationals. It's not easy, but because we have a strong defence and a strong keeper, uh, we, we can deal with anything. It's not a blow when we lose Chima. We will try our best with other ones.